This is the Trimble Family. Life is good. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And here is the video. Hey, 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 guys. We got Nicholas Children Urgent Care with Rita. And we're going to see you guys on the inside. And there's Rita. We're taking her to Urgent Care. We got Nate and we got Jay going to the doctor. Come on, Nate. Hey, 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 we're back, y'all. We're back from the hospital. Me and the children had to sit outside in the car while Catherine and Rita go in there because some kids had a flu and stomach virus, so we didn't want the other kids to get sick. No, no, no. So we and me and the kid, other kids went out in the car with Shanala because you know Shanala has that open wound, so we didn't want her to sit in there with all that going on inside the... Uh, Urgent care. In the urgent care. So, Catherine's here to inform you guys what is going on with Rita. Miss Weeble Wobbles has tonsillitis. Miss Rita which has. Which is an infection of the throat. Mm -hmm. Her tonsils. They gave her something in there. Hopefully, it'll. They said by tomorrow she should start feeling a little bit better. But the next three days, she should be perfectly well again. It's just the fact that we have to get through the first three days. Mm hmm coming up so what is she what can what's the can do well right don't now only don't give her nothing to eat give her pedialyte give her juices anything to keep her well hydrated mm -hmm. if she does not want to eat nothing do not force her to eat nothing if she doesn't eat something give her something like chicken broth or give her like the applesauce the, the um stuff i've been giving her the pudding and stuff like that soft foods Okay. Nothing that's going to hurt her throat. What about ice cream? She can have ice cream. That sounds great. That sounds Which great. I, she, I bought her two big things of it yesterday. The popsicles. Yeah. So she sucks on those. Right, Bobo? Yeah. She still got a, a box and a half of those. And she got two more puddings, but she, she got her meant to put in bars. Uh -huh. The ice, ice pudding bars for her to suck on. So. so she's good on that part. I tell go get her some Pedialyte and some Motrin. I do got a little bit of stuff that was in there. You know what I'm saying? You guys probably seen in the head of this video. Catherine sitting there uh, signing her up. At first, the guy wanted to give Catherine a, a little bit of a hard time. Talking about we hadn't been there since what, 2021 or something other? 2017. 2017. Marina. But if you have the information in your computer, there's No, no, no. It was in to. there. It's just that he didn't think that it was going to show it up. Yeah. Because it was so far back. Yeah. But he found but it. But if I'm mistaken, you were seen before 2021. She was seen in 2017 there. After that, it was Antoinette and Shanila. Yeah. But it was last time she was seen, it was 17. Yeah. No, that's the last time she was seen with the insurance card. Oh, okay, okay. That's last time they received the insurance card from her. Okay. But they have, in the system still where they still have all her stuff. Is but the she... fact that now I have to be very careful about what I give her, what she can eat. Make sure she doesn't eat behind nobody or drink behind nobody because I don't want no more bacteria getting into her throat. Her tonsils. They will be enlarged for the next couple of days, she said. Even after the three days, they're still going to be enlarged. So we have to be really careful about how she eats and drinks behind okay, people. So, so don't eat or don't drink behind nobody. Hear me, Rita. I'll be giving her her own straw to drink out of. Mommy. I'm giving her her own straw to drink out of. And she's going to have her own spoon and fork uh -huh. that she uses. That no one else can touch. It's just for her. I used to we had that growing, growing up. We had something like that growing up too. I had that before. Yeah, but they say there's a lot of kids right now getting infected, getting their tonsillitis infections. The infect that she, they have getting more infected and that they have to get surgery. Oh, That's wow. why it says they don't want her eating or drinking behind nobody. Okay, so she would not eat or drink behind so nobody. So no bacteria or germs are shared. Okay. Because the kids can have a cough. Mm -hmm. And if she drinks behind them or eat behind them, use the same silver with them. It can get her more sick. Okay. And we don't want that to happen to my baby. No, 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 y'all. We don't need that to happen. Mm -mm. So, we, we basically, what we gotta do is we so gotta. So, now we're nourishing back the health. Two kids, not one. Shanila and Rita. Will you stop seeing Rita? That's why people say her name is Rita. That's Rita. Rita. Rita like to say her name so many different ways. So right, Riri? I just started saying what she said. What's your sometime. name, Rita? How you say your name? Huh? 
um, she's not wanting to talk to you guys because they stuck the, the thing down her throat and it really, 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 really hurt my baby. She was crying. Yeah. They felt so bad after they did it. They gave her apple juice. See? She won't even drink it, y'all. She's yeah, hurting they, so bad. They tested it. They tested it. Yeah, they tested the stress strep. And the strep came back negative. Further examination of the throat was on Uh-huh. She didn't even have to look that far in her throat. As soon as she stuck her tongue out, she automatically said it tonsillitis. She could tell by the inflammation, how, how inflared her throat, her tonsils are, and how red they are. Mm -hmm. Tony, when I said them things is red, red, mm -hmm. you would think they're bleeding red. Oh, wow. That's how red they are. You know how you get a blood clot mm -hmm. and it's light red? That's how her tonsils are. Oh, wow. They bright red. Is that really right Do there? not... Even if she wants to try to eat, do not now let her eat, eat nothing for the next couple of days. Okay, really, we got to keep even watch on YouTube. That means you got to come in the room. No food, no that, food. That food. Do you mean really got to come in the room now? No, she. It's like when we eat dinner, you know, she be trying to eat with us. Uh -huh. She can't. No way, no how. She must eat liquids, liquids and soft like pudding, yogurt, stuff like that. No regular food. You know, I get paranoid when my children are sick. So I'm the extra paranoid now again. Thank you. Look at, little, look at the iguana and the little birdies, y'all. Yeah. The baby birdies right here. Look at the iguana right here. Y'all see them? Right here. Oh, look at a whole bunch of iguanas. That's two. No, it's three, three, four. Show the peak. Five. Show the peak. Turn around, turn around. Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. You guys see the iguana right there? And then if you look over here to the side, you're going to see a whole bunch more of them. See them? All the iguanas. The chicken of the trees. And there's some in the back back there too. If you can see them. They're far in the back. But this is what we got terrorizing us. You see the little birdies? Out here? Y'all see them? It was a whole bunch of them, y'all. So I can't do that mess. I'm sorry, I can't. Here we go, y'all. Here we go, so yeah, guys. Uh, it stopped turning. No, that's fine. It's the turning of it. There you go. Dad got you. So yeah, man. Thank uh, you so much. Yeah. I'm dehydrated, y'all. Those iguanas is tearing up, terrorizing everything, man. They're digging holes and stuff and everything. Damaging work, street work, all that. It's dead. But a lot of people, some say they're the chicken of the trees. Tastes like chicken. I don't know. Never had, had it. But would you like to taste it? Yes. I would like to try to try it out. Let's see what everybody's talking about. The I might about. order some. Oh, you order that stuff? Yeah, you can order that. I didn't know that. You order iguana meat. Come on, come on, truck. You're behind the garbage truck, y'all. Which I'm trying to get from behind right now. Because he's like, he just sitting there. That's recyc recycling wastes. Yeah, recycling waste. Wasting my darn time sitting there in the middle of the road. <laughs> but yeah, this is the block I grew up on right here. We turning up on next to old Uncle Tom's house. Uncle Tommy. Uncle Tommy. We're right next door to Uncle Tommy's house. Like he getting his his jaw cut too. This man like he going crazy with the dog on machine. Like he's shooting something with the little buzzer. Uh -huh. Like he shooting and that something. James Carter. Yep. Like he's shooting something with the little buzzer. That's what. <laughs> oh, so that's James Carter too. Yep. All oh, that's James. All this stuff on the side is James. Uncle Tommy now. Uncle Tommy now. I think I see Uncle Tom car parked in the back right there. Wasn't that Tom? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I think it was inside. On the side, mm -hmm. I think he's getting worked on, probably. I don't know. But I yeah. thought he don't go nowhere but to the shop. No, nah, Tom's not <laughs> doing that. Cost too much. 
I don't blame Uncle Tom. I went out and did that a long time ago, too. Are y'all hungry now? Hmm? You hungry now? Which one do you want, soft or hard? I'm gonna get this in the drink now, okay, baby? Get that shit down there. I'm kind of jumping out there. I'm kind of working out my bed, guys. Shinano, you want one? Mm -hmm. Here, apple cookie. We down the street from my old school, Arch and Villa. Mm -hmm. My mom used to walk us to school every morning. I know. Us how to walk home and all that stuff. I remember that, y'all. The air is on, okay? The old girl took us by the hand, but this is how you get home. You see this? You walk straight down this side while you come down this side, Willie, and bam, you home right there. This is the house. So we're living at a pink duplex. And then after that, I started walking home. My mama started recruiting my cousins, me to walk them to school. <laughs> oh. Like, Jesus, <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> yeah, a whole bunch of other people walking. A whole bunch of other people walking. Well, I like first the crossing guard. Uh, had to wait on them. I just like walking with my cousins, though. I ain't gonna lie. Especially my uh, my, my other cousin, Bibi. I just like walking with her all the time. Me, her, and uh, our friends, we get together, we walk to school. Shoot, I remember we used to have to walk to school. Holy crap, did I hate it. I just like to make sure my cousins get there all right, you know what I'm saying? I hated walking to school. Because whether it rains, snowed, you was walking. But if it rained too bad, then he would come pick us up. Put it like this. I hope this don't tell my age. <laughs> I was in elementary when your lady made that song, Superwoman. <laughs> yeah, you just told your age. You I just was told in your age. Elementary when what's the name? What was the name of that lady's name? Uh, I forgot her name, but she made Super. I'm not your Superwoman. You just told yeah. your age. I ain't gonna lie, I wouldn't trade the 80s for nothing, man. Shit, growing up in the 80s was, was the best time of my life, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. The 90s was all right. I kind of enjoyed the 90s too, but the, 80, the 90s ain't had nothing up on the 80s, y'all. Nothing. Not even a to it. But then the 90s was good. The 2000s ain't had nothing on the 90s, so it was like. Every year, try the outdoors better. Yeah, and it didn't get no number to touch the 80s, I'm telling you. That's when little kids. I think to... 70s, 80s, and 90s were the best years of all. Cause you got to be little kids. Like we you know we didn't have all the the devices that these kids got, but we was we was able to enjoy, enjoy our life. childhood, enjoy our grandparents and our parents. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Without the interruptions of electronics, we had our Nintendos and all that. You understand what I'm saying? But we weren't allowed to play them like that either. No, we wasn't allowed to play them like that. We was told to go outside. Lock y'all behind us Lock your luckers outside. Use the water hose if what, you're thirsty. What, what about the drink? Drink from the, the water, water hose. hose. That's the that was the joint, y'all. <laughs> the Only drink time from the water we was hose. allowed to go inside the house was when it when we had to use the bathroom. Yeah. The girls had to use the bathroom. You just took me completely off the camera. If you just slide over, you would be you'd be right back in the camera. Come back over this way like you normally do. But yeah, the girls was, we had the girls the only one that got to go in the house. That's because we had to use the bathroom. Yeah. But the boys go pee on the tree. Oh. Mm. I think that's so enough tree. trees out there for you to go pee on. Yeah, the tree got the, the tree got much love from all of us. <laughs> and then my and my aunt and uncle y'all, my grandma y'all, man, they had so much bananas, mangoes, oranges, man. I thought we was in. I mean, we we had no reason to go outside to eat. Really, inside the house to eat. Hey, in my grandparents' yard, we were we were lovely. Cherry we trees, had everything you could think of out there, fruits and vegetables. If we wanted cucumbers. We got. We can go pick up a cucumber and eat it. Carrots, you can eat it. Anything you can think of. We can have cantaloupes, watermelons. We had it all. Sugar cane, we had it. Uh, what, what Grapes, we had it. And all then, that. And then inside our, inside our grandparents' front yard, they had a pepper tree. A big old round pepper bush. Man, I think that's where they get their little peppers. It was real little thin peppers. Those were them hot, hot zones. Mm -hmm. They come real skinny and small like. So my something was hot. Chili peppers. Ooh, those things were hot. Chili peppers. Yeah, my grandma had it right in her front yard, y'all. Yeah. You know right why, there. right? Why? It keeps out rodents. Oh, yeah? They don't like hotness. Raccoons and all that. Mm -hmm. It keeps them all out. 
Why can't we get my own yard? Because I'm make sure I got me some hot Here's the most important thing, though. It wasn't just about all you need and all that other stuff. It's about going over to your family. You cut me off every time. I'm sorry. Going around to your grandparents' house and getting to see all your aunts and uncles. Everybody in one spot. Everybody in one spot. Everybody can love on you from one spot. Grandparents. Yeah, grandparents, aunts, uncles. When you whenever you turn around, you know what I'm saying. You had people around to show you some type of love. You feel what I'm saying? That's at my mama people house. Now if I go to my daddy people house. My big mom, big daddy, everybody, it was the same thing. Everybody was in one doggone circle, y'all. One circle. Well, I only got to experience half of that. So hold on, somebody calling y'all. Give you a call. You guys. Yep. Okay, back to my, my dad, people house, man. Everybody was in one spot, man. You was able to enjoy all your aunts and uncles. Same thing as my mama house, my mama people house. Everybody in one spot. Big mama get in the kitchen, she cooking. Cheese, eggs, and grits, man. Good grief. And she had the chickens on deck in the backyard in the coop, man. Come on, man. She had the big grapefruit trees in the backyard, along with these sea grape trees. I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with sea grape trees, but she had a sea grape tree right in the backyard, man. I'm telling you, our family had something. What about yours, cat? That doesn't beat my grandparents. At least then they probably would knew what family was. Mama was showing. My, my mama I'm talking was about showing. my side of the family. Uh, my mama was showing it to them. You know what I mean? And. They ain't getting rid of the chance of my grandma, nobody else. My grandmother, the grandfather? Okay, play with it. My mom and my dad showed it to him, but. Well, you got to talk to my grandmother. Yeah, I, yeah. You see what type of lady she was? Yeah, she was, she was, she was cool. My grandma was a sweet lady. She 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 was rough around the edges, though. Uh huh. But she <laughs> was sweet. <laughs> she was tough. <laughs> she was tough, Glad but she you. was sweet still. She had a heart of gold. I remember. My thing was, I, they could have had just a glimpse of what I had growing up. Well, it is. They got, they got me, like I said. I'm not talking about the whole family. I'm just talking about the glimpse of what I had with my grandmother and my grandfather. grandfather now that they can, you know, spend time with him, you know? <sighs> anyway. But, you know what I'm saying? We just got to see how, how can we make this, you know, these things work with these their grandfathers, you know what I mean? I ain't got nothing to say with that. Because you know what I'm saying, like they say. I was always taught if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Kids got a kid has to have a village, everybody growing up. We had that village. So that's why we say we didn't want our kids to miss up on having a village like we had. We had a village of aunts, uncle, grandparents. We had it all, man. You know See, what I'm I missed out on something too. Yes, I did. And the same thing now they're missing out on it. What? My mother's side of the family. Yeah. Not knowing every size of the family. They got to know your mom's side. They got to know your dad's side. They still have not met. They got to know inch of my side. Well, I, and know, none of my mama's side. I was trying to get you to I mean, get you there. You know what I'm saying? Let them talk to everybody, you know? I tried that. You know? Don't nobody call. So, hey. Why not try to find the other side to give them something? I'm tired of people talking about some, oh, your whole side, your mom's whole side of family is gone. Ain't no way in the world. Somebody has some type of kids. Yeah, somebody's around. Somebody. Somewhere down the line, somebody has some type of kids. A whole family is not <laughs> deceased. I know that part has to be. Yeah, you know I mean, it is. It happened. It, it could happen, but what's the, what's the, what's the likely of that to happen? Yeah. But I don't, offsprings, I don't think that's going to happen. Just like I don't believe all my aunties and my uncles are gone. I'm getting told they're gone, then I get told they're not. Then I get told they're gone, then I get told they're not. So why not do it myself and look it up my darn self? So what do you, oh, I know what you're saying. And you guys are gonna be there every step of the way for it. I'm just tired of the bull crap. I'm tired of lies. The secrets. These kids need somebody they can love on as well. You feel what I'm saying? Somebody that can love on them besides yeah, us. Yeah. Because all they see is us. I mean, you know what I mean? I know it's, 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 it's sometimes it's good, you know what I'm saying? But then it, they want to. Every, everybody needs more than just your mom and your dad. Yeah. Everybody needs just more than a mom and dad. Like they say, it takes 
shouldn't deprive his parents. Shouldn't deprive his parents. Shouldn't deprive his parents. Parents shouldn't deprive their children from either side of the family. I, that's what I see. It shouldn't be deprived from either side of the family. Each side of the family should be able to get to know the children. You know what I mean? Or be around the children. That's what I think. You know what I mean? I think that that's nothing but right. It's old to the children. You said you never met anybody else? I don't know nobody on my mom's side. Is it First I'm told my aunt, she's my aunt Teresa. Then I'm told that's my mom's friend. Then I'm told that's my aunt Teresa. I don't know any no more. All I do know is she had a picture of my mama. Well, my bad, my mama was a, was a little girl at that, at that time. I was the same age as my mom was in that picture, like eight or nine years old. And I remember she put me in the same exact dress did my hair the same exact way mm. and told me, oh, now, who is this in this picture? And the first thing I said was, well, how'd you get a picture looking at me that fast? She says, girl, that's not true. That's your mama. I said, who? Mm. She said, that's your mama when she was your age. Y'all, I froze. And she wouldn't give me the picture. Oh, wow. Who, who would give you a picture? My auntie Risa. Oh, yeah? Oh, so your people still got the picture of your people? Your mama? She had a picture of my mama. My mama was like <coughs> 19 years old. Yo, 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 your aunt Teresa is who? Your dad's sister? No. Oh. It's supposed to be my mama's. Okay. Now, because mysteriously, she's going to. But he said he, she was alive, didn't he? No, he oh. said he keeps saying my aunt Catherine is still oh, alive. Okay. The one I was named after. Boy, let me find her. <laughs> There's a reason why he doesn't want me to find her. I know. News flash. I'm gonna find whoever I need to find. Cause yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, you don't have we we, we have no. And if I get her obituary, it's gonna tell me the names of all her siblings, and I'm gonna go down a list yep. to try to find out who's still living and who's not. Just a hint to you guys. I got a lot of work I'm about to do. Y'all hmm. going on the trap? Y'all going on the journey with me? And, and, and what's the name can do it for you? All the work for you? Not all of it. It can do some. Yeah, ancestries, ancestries, something like that. But they only go back to back, back in your life. I'm trying to find people who are relevant of the years around I was born. Yeah, but it, all I gotta do is find the obituary. Yeah, but it, uh, ancestries give you the uh, living relatives too. They give you living relatives too. They say that they have ones where they could tell who's living in around your area with you. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. So what? From what your father says, one is one of them supposed to be living down in Florida. That's my uncle Jose. Yeah. My uncle Juan. I mean, my mom's brother. But mysteriously, he's gone too now. But he had to have children too. That's down here. So like I said, I'm gonna find out. If I gotta do an Antoine Fisher move, I'm um, gonna find out. That's what I mean. It's old to you to know who your family, where you come from, what your what your people was like. You know what I'm saying? What's you know what I mean? It's old to you. That's what you want to know. You know? Did they just stop in the middle of the road? Did she just get out the god dog on a uh, truck? Yep, and he got in it. Did she go He look, he trying to back up. He trying to back up, Tony. Okay, oh. I thought that was a cop following him. I didn't know he was actually driving that car with that car to back mm -hmm. up. Okay, okay. Train. Is it a train or is these people, uh, is this thing just down and broke? Bro, you 
Mm -hmm. This thing is down and broke. This thing like it's down and broke. He told them and they turned around. Yeah, that's, that train broke. Yeah, it's broke. That that the little uh, railroad thing is broke. He could have told me that. I was just behind his butt. You feel me? Lord, I tell you. Twenty after. Twenty after what two? What she's at? Yeah, he he train. was just over here. What? What the world is he hiding? What is he? Train. Huh? Train. Oh, so we got to be over there at three? Mm -hmm. So we be going there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should be going there now. If that's the case, why did I ride way over here? I thought mm -hmm. that it wasn't three. It was like two, so when I got there, got When we got left, me. it was like 159, 158. Yeah. So let's head on over, I guess. But yeah. Y'all going on a journey with me because I'm, I'm not going to find out who I need to find, when I need to find them at. Yeah. Oh, like my family. How we need to find them, you know what I mean? And Oh, I'm going down to social. I'm going to social. If I got to call social security in New Jersey. Like I said, the kids got to have some type of relative that they can have some type of fun with. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Chill out with. Instead of knowing just, you know what I'm saying, just us. Because last time I checked, don't they got to get the obituaries to yeah. Social, Social Security? Yeah, Social Security. Social Security got to get obituaries and all that. Get all the good so, stuff. So, I'm sure you should be able to get a obituary from the Social Security office. Yeah. I think they said that they needed my Social Security and my birth certificate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But I will have to travel up there for it to be in person. I don't know. That's what they said. But they, get, they can't take a regular ID for it. Mm -hmm. I picture ID because they don't know if that's the right person taking it. But well, we can try to answer and start the first process about the ancestry. Ancestry. The ancestry. That's first stage. Yeah. See who we can find off that. We can find just one person from there. Then yeah, we good to go. I'll be doing an Antoine Fisher move. I'm going to New York and New Jersey. Look at every single Santiago and Armstrong I can find. Because your birth certificate has your mother's name on it, right? Mm hmm Gloria and Santiago. So. But my granddaddy's my, my granddaddy's last name was not Santiago. Mm -hmm. It was Armstrong. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so <coughs> Makes you think, don't it? Yeah. My mother's maiden name was Santiago. Uh -huh. But my granddaddy's last name was Armstrong. Armstrong is not those but his last name. <laughs> yeah, but then you got, you got, like, if they stayed up north, then you had a lot of people that's marrying to marry. You know what I'm saying? I know, but I'm seeing Armstrong. Listen to the oh, they, Armstrong. Or oh, they probably was dating. Or they probably wasn't married. Was they married? I have no idea. If they weren't married, then. Oh, my mama you know, got my mama last name, my grandma last name. So time. my granddad last name was Armstrong. You probably found her dad's people too, especially if you found her birth certificate. You get her birth certificate. See, people are crazy. I don't necessarily have to go to Jersey to look up the white pages mm -mm. for New York or New Jersey. Mm -mm. I go right online, look at the white pages. Mm -hmm. It's going to pull up everybody up there. With the last name Armstrong or Santiago. Mm -hmm. And I just start calling them a list. Do you know so and so and so and so who died so and so and so and so year? What's your door year your mom died? My mama died in 84. Okay, so you, you use that and was that the correct year that something somebody 84. Did? I was born in 84, Tony. Okay. It's between 84 and 85. Because they say first time I say it was I was four months old. And then somebody said I was eight months old. So between the months, the years of 84 and 85.
And yes, I know how she passed away. She had an brain aneurysm. And it busts. Ooh. She she bled in her sleep. So if anybody is listening to me that knows my mother who was related to my mother her name is Lorian Santiago or she went by Lorian Armstrong from New Jersey or New York let me know reach out to me say so comment on this message this, this video here or you can hit me up in my um Gaming with the Queen of Hearts at gmail.com. Just let me know something. Uh -huh. Any clue. Because right now we have the platform that you guys can contact us with. You know what I'm saying? So please, please feel free to contact my wife on her social media platform. Or this one. Comment on the video. Do something. Let me know something. Cause I'm in desperate need of trying to find my family. Like I said, we've been looking, looking, looking. Now I'm about to hit Ancestry.com. Mm-hmm. In the white pages. Something's got to give. Like I said, these folks back here, they need that. You know, the children back here, they need that. They need to know, you know. And she needs to know who her family is. It's just too many Juan Santiago's down here. Yeah, you, you, you. Ooh. Miami, look at this shit. It's too many Juan Santiago's shit. down here. They try to sit and call every last one of them. There's a lot of them. But, like I said, we, 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 we looking, we looking to take it there and abroad until we find out. Find our family. You know what I'm saying? So this was just a little conversation after Rita's doctor's appointment and everything. We, just I wanted, to, get deep with we wanted to get a little deep with you guys, talk to you guys about the situation. We family, y'all. We family, you know. Back to results of Rita. She does have tonsillitis. We will be getting over it soon, so matter of how long it takes her to get over it. But she will get over it. Right, Wobbles? Right, Weebles? You gonna get through it, right? She's shaking her head because I think a little bit. Mm -hmm. So. But you guys, it has to be the end of this video. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to That's the right. video. And this is the Trimble family. And we are out. This thing. Like. Yo. Peace. Peace.